at Moby Arena where the CSU Rams men's basketball team is about to take on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Now both these teams are coming off some tough losses in their season. Corey, can you tell us a little more about those? Yeah, so Colorado State is just coming home from Boise State where they did end up losing. But the game before that was actually against a top 25 ranked team in San Diego State. They did end up losing that one by over 20 points. Now, South Dakota had their own game that they had against the top 25 ranked team, the number 15th ranked Arizona. Now, that game was much closer than CSU's game because they only lost by seven points. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a little bit of a struggle for the Rams coming into the second half, but a bright spot for them is their bench. So you have Tanjay and Thomas, who are both coming off with over 30 points for each themselves, and they're just making a difference coming off that bench. Yeah, and it's lucky for the Rams that that bench is here at Moby tonight because South Dakota State actually has the best home win percentage in all of college basketball since the 2011-2012 season. They have 94.7% win percentage at home. So, see if you caught a break there. It's going to be really interesting. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Stay tuned for more updates. <laughs> season not great they've been keeping it close in their in the first half in each game that they've had but once they go into the second half just something clicks and they're not connecting and they get outscored by every team that they've been in, against in the second half so and in this game it's a little different because South Dakota this is their strong suit their second half is where they've outperformed their t opponents so it's gonna be interesting to see if the, the Rams can combat this challenge today 
Yeah, and it will be a challenge, because like I said, this is an intense one here. You won't want to miss it. Dakota State University in a final score of 72 to 68. Now down the stretch there was definitely one key player and it, no, it's not Carvacho. Rachel, who was it? <laughs> Adam Thistlewood. He came out of nowhere, showed up and showed out for the CSU Rams tonight. 17 seconds left in the game. He hits a clutch three, immediately gets down the field and gets an amazing defensive rebound just to solidify that game for them. But that's not the end of the tough games. What do they have coming up this weekend, Corey? This Friday at 7 p.m. in Moby is a whiteout versus in-state rival CU Boulder. Now, CU Boulder was number 25 as of the end of this game, but they did just lose to an unranked Northern Iowa. So who will know if they'll be ranked by the time <laughs> they come here to Moby, but it is going to be incredibly tense, as it always is, anytime there's ever a Rocky Mountain showdown. So <laughs> that's going to be at 7 o'clock here at Moby. For more updates, be sure to follow us on Twitter at sports underscore CTV. I'm Rachel Hallam. And I'm Corey Odom. Stick around.